So, hello guys, Danny Baby here with Danny Baby TV, and today I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial how to create a uh, like a ringtone kind of thing out of a normal piece of music using this program here called WaveBad Sound. I've got it here as well. I'm just going to open up the program. Oops, I took that, and this is what it's going to open. Okay, so then you can a link so you can download this in the video description. It's a very simple download. Then open the file. So I'll just put it on the desktop of that. Uh, where is it? There we go. So, this is the piece of music that I am going to use. So, here on this timeline, you can see all of the waveforms of where this music has been formed. And basically, I'll just. So I'll just stop that. You can see like all of the waveforms of the music and you can drag bits and select them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where I want mine to start. Now you can press the play button, uh, so the music will can play and stop. You can just press the space bar. So it's much easier than having to click down here. So I want my ringtone to start here, so I'm just going to click on this line when I have the arrows up. Let's step up. Right, okay, so I'm just going to click on this line and drag it to the beginning. And I'm just going to delete. So now this is what it sounds like from the beginning. So normally your ringtone is about 15 to 20 seconds. So I'm just going to look at my clock down here along the bottom of the of the sound editing program. Do 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 do. So I'm going to stop my. Let's just go to. I'm going to go to. Here. Okay, and then we're just going to delete that. So now we'll have a piece of music. It sounds like this. So, you, there are some things that you may want to do. If you want it to fade in, you can just drag, okay, and then on here, you've got this effects bar. It may be like this, so you can just click that, and click fade in. It'll just process it, and then you can go back and play it, and it fades in. You can also do that at the end, you can click, and then fade out. And that is basically how simple it is. To create your very own ringtone uh, so you can use it on your phone and then once you've done all with all of this all you need to do is click file and then save file as you can save the project if you want that I'll just save this as in there WPP file with pad program I think it stands for and uh, I'll just save it so you can just come back and edit this later but once you finish, you can do file, save file as. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to save this as uh, ring tone, and just hit OK on that, and then it'll be done. So then you can just close it, and let's just find it. There it is. You can then just basically plug your phone cable in, or if your computer has Bluetooth and your phone has Bluetooth, you can just transfer the file over. And then once it's on your mobile, you can just click on the file and then select it to be your ringtone. There's normally a you does ringtone button. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
I will link so you can download WavePad in the video description. It's a very quick tool. I've done this many times before. You don't have to use own copyrighted music, obviously. It is your own ringtone. You can do whatever you want. Uh, my normal ones are probably copyrighted. Like, I don't normally use own copyrighted music. It's just for the purposes of YouTube that I need to do that so I don't get a copyright violation. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then of course I'd like to appreciate it if you really did enjoy it. And I hope you uh, found it helpful. Give us a favour. And remember to subscribe for more gaming, tutorials and vlogs. Thanks for watching. Bye.